Good morning YouTube, it's Scout Dennis Garage. How you doing today? Well, we're getting ready to go on a cold weather camping trip and I'm thinking we need a heater. So let's explore the Buddy Heater Little Buddy and see what it's like. Stay tuned. So we got the standard one pound propane bottle. The plastic base that's on, usually on the bottom of these has been removed. And that's snug in there, nice and tight. Take the cap off. This just screws on. to light. Push this several times, you'll hear it clicking until the pilot light lights. Once it lights, hold it for about 30 seconds and then let go and it'll heat up. To turn it off, just simply depress the off button. Something to think about with this little heater is that little green one pound propane bottle lasts about five hours. So it has the potential of going through a lot of propane pretty quickly and at five to six bucks per bottle it could get expensive. Not to mention all the extra storage for storing the extra bottles. And when you tip this over to the side or over in general, it'll turn off on its own. Now before we head out to the field to test this, let's talk about the Moore Overland Expo. It is the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer show. It is held April 21st, 22nd, 2023 in the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds, Springfield, Missouri. I will be there as a storyteller, so if you'd like to meet up with me or check out the expo, stop in. Use the discount code above to save 10% on your ticket prices. Now let's get back to the video. All right. My lighting sucks. I get it. But to get the point across, again, it's been in the 20s all day today, and it's been getting been getting down to the single digits at night this rooftop tent is a single season and all i got for heat is this little little buddy and it is now warm enough in here that i was able to take off my stocking hat and my heavy coat i do have a zero degree sleeping bag so i should be pretty warm in here if it gets too cold i can always fire it back up I don't plan on sleeping with this on just for safety hazard, but all right. So far, I'm pretty darn impressed. So we're back from the camping trip and wanted to tell you my thoughts on it. First off, it was stable. Um, it sat on its base on the mattress all night long and did not tip over. So I was impressed with that. It did heat the tent warm enough that I was able to comfortably change. The lows were down in the mid 20s at night and it was 20s all day, so did well in that. However, there was a problem. In the half hour I ran it in the evening and in the half hour I ran it in the morning, it created so much condensation inside the rooftop tent that it actually started to rain. Uh, the mattress was soaked, it just was bad it was horrendous um so if you're gonna be in a tight quarters and it's cold out which is why you would need it be aware you're gonna have a lot of condensation inside so that's my review thanks for watching thanks for subscribing you have yourself a blessed day